guys, hope you're doing well as always and welcome back to another video. Today we have got Community Shield action. Arsenal versus Manchester City. First versus second in the Premier League last season. It's going to be a great fixture. Despite the lack of relevance that some people see with this fixture, it sets the tone for either side season going ahead. I'm on my way to go and pick up Sean. We're going to head straight up there and I will see you guys at Wembley. <laughs> Gentlemen, we are at Wembley with yet again Sean Callanan. Welcome back. Two in two days, come on. Arsenal fan, by the way. So I'm going to go straight into the score prediction. Let me know your thoughts. What's your score prediction? Uh, I'm not confident. We've looked pretty shaky in pre season so far. Jay Z's injured. I reckon 2 0 City. 2 0 well, City. I, I, okay. I, I will say, if we cook, we're going to win 3 1. Maybe 2-0 3-1 no, I think it's going to be a little bit closer I do think City will win But I think it's going to go to penalties Because it's not a priority for either of these two teams So I think it's going to be 1-1 one, one, And I think the City will edge it on penalties I think it's also one of them games Where I think Arsenal won it more Because we haven't won a trophy in three years now so Yeah, right. exactly yeah. City all the time but. They haven't won a trophy since the Community Shield in 2020. in 2020 So this is big for Arsenal But Man City will be looking to do a clean sweep in England this season So we'll have to wait and see what happens? Let's get into the seats. Up the boys. Uh, not going to go that far. Great turnout from the Arsenal fans today. They're making most of the noise so far. Man City has still got a lot of travelling fans down here. It's all to play for for these two teams now. And out come the two teams ahead of this final. The Man City fans reminding Arsenal of their pedigree. It's going to be a tough day for Arsenal, but they're not going to make it easy for City. Poland and Alvarez to name just two of the names. Mateo Kovacic making his debut for Manchester City and what a sign in their peak there. Meanwhile, Declan Rice and Timber make their debut for Arsenal. Are we going to see one of those new players make the difference? And we are on the way. Man City applying the pressure early on. And it's dealt with by Arsenal. I don't think there's going to be many chances that are easier to score than that one. Ramsdale again getting away with murder. Oh, Saka drags it wide. Yes. Oh, oh, defending. The ball. Well defended. Oh, oh brilliant, William. Yeah. That is half time, ladies and gents. So, ladies and gents, half time, nil nil. There were not a lot of chances, if I'm being honest. Uh, as an Arsenal fan, how are you feeling? Uh, honestly, going into the game, pretty nervous, but uh, we're playing well. We're playing well. Our low block has been really good. You see, we haven't really created anything. We've had two decent chances, one was blocked and one was saved. Two from Havertz, but uh, yeah. Yeah, Havertz is someone that I definitely, definitely want to talk about because in my opinion, he's missed two chances that a striker should be scoring. As we know, he's not a natural striker, but you've got to see those hit the back of the net. They're two big chances missed by the centre forward. Two players that have been really good for us have been uh, Timber and Saliba. Both yeah, have been big time. unreal. Uh, Especially Saliba. We are knocking on the door. We look, we look better. But do you reckon you can take the winner? Mate, they've got De Bruyne on the bench. I don't know. It's a good point. We do have a good point. 
Yeah, right. Well, less said about Enkedia, the better. Man City with a better team starting off. Arsenal got back into it. It's anyone's for the taking. But this game needs to open up. We need to see some better quality chances and we'll see what happens. We didn't really see much of Erling Haaland in that first half. Are we going to see him shine in the second? Or will Kai Havertz be able to find his goal scoring feet? Come on, boys. We'll find out. We are back underway. Great defending again. Good save. Bill Foden coming on for Grealish. Grealish didn't really have much to do in that game, but Foden still got that hunger. Oh, right over the bar. Erling Haaland makes way. He's done virtually nothing this game. Cole Palmer is coming on in replacement. Bukayo oh. Saka with a golden opportunity. Good defending, but Cole Palmer probably should have hit that first time. That's a great goal! And it's Cole Palmer who gives City the lead. What a finish that was as well. Great beat, you great finish from Cole Palmer and Man City take the lead, potentially against the overall run of the game. Uh, they're 1-0 up. Arsenal have got some fights to live. They want to get back into this game. That's a great save. How on earth did he miss that? Golden opportunity for Phil Foden. Put on a plate. Ramsdale to the rescue. Oh, my word. Ramsdale gets it the second time of asking. What the fuck? They get that in really. Eight minutes added on, there's still time. Four Arsenal to nab an equaliser and take this to penalties. Yeah. And it's a corner. Surely the last kick of the game. Penalty shootout, Sean, are you feeling confident? Heart in the mouth, are you feeling confident? Well, Ramsdale can't say penalty. That's it. And Saka can't score them either. And the penalties are going to be taken up this end. Arsenal are taken first. Yeah. It's a good penalty. Erdogan's not had the best game, but it's a good penalty. Up next is De Bruyne. Good penalty from Bernardo Silva. Keeps Man City in this. Bakayo yeah! Saka scores. That is important for him and important for Arsenal in this penalty shootout. Yeah! And Ramsdale saves! Arsenal on the verge. If they score this, they win. Vieira to win it. setback in the project that they've got going on at the moment. Just because they've lost this game doesn't mean that they're not going to challenge for the title. But it's a massive statement of intent for Arsenal and what they want to achieve this season. One trophy down.
ladies and gents, that does bring us to the end of the Community Shield final. And I think it's a massive statement for Arsenal beating Manchester City. Call this trophy what you want, but this is a statement for the season to come. Early doors and Mikel Arteta, the apprentice, has beaten the master Pep. I'm chuffed. I thought we actually played quite well. We did lack a bit of attacking threat with the striker. Kai Havertz wasn't really cutting it. He was all right, but he just wasn't really, didn't have that clinical finish in the end. But yeah, good performance. I'm happy we got the first trophy of the season. We'll go for quadruple, so you know, demo, yeah. I knew you were going to say about the quadruple. I put money on it. But uh, no, I agree. I think Arsenal certainly had their moments, and I think over the 90 were probably the better team. Kai Havertz in front of goal, we know he's not the most clinical, but it wasn't the worst performance I've seen. It was actually quite a good performance other than how clinical he was in front of goal. Yuri and Timber was world class today. Like, I really look forward to what he can bring to Arsenal this season because 30 mil in this market is a steal. Declan Rice and Thomas Partey partnership is looking looking good. Yeah, we're very defensively solid apart from that one moment. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with the performance. 100% I think it's going to be annoyingly another good season for Arsenal. But ladies and gents that is it for today thank you very much for watching i will be back on tuesday for exeter versus crawley town in the efl cup so make sure you're there you're not going to want to miss it see you in the next one take care as always peace and love